Well, of course, eating healthy is uh, so important. Uh, Well-balanced meals, important for everyone, but especially our little kindergartners to be who need the energy and nutrition uh, to stay alert and pay attention in class. Joining me now to talk about how to keep your child eating right is our friend Tina Miller uh, from Meyer. And Tina, I feel healthier just when you walked in the door. It's always nice to see you again. Thanks for having me here today. You know, it is so important that our kids eat healthy, balanced meals. We know that kids who eat uh, balanced breakfast, snacks, and lunches, they learn better. They concentrate better. They have better focus. So to really get them ready to learn, we want to make sure that they have healthy foods in their bodies. One of the best ways to provide balance is think about the different food groups we have. And then think about planning using a one, two, three kind of method. So when we're, you're making a snack or when you're packing a lunch, step one b would be pick a protein or a dairy. So here I've got some examples of protein and dairy foods. Simply milk would work well, hummus, cheese, sliced lunch meat, or peanut butter. Those are great proteins to add. And then when we're building that lunch, and we can get the kids involved in doing this too because they can pick what they want to put together. Um, choose a whole grain. We want to make sure that kids get whole grains that offer a lot of fiber and vitamins and minerals. So that's the really important thing. We want to minimize white breads, white flours, and go more for whole grains. So whole grain crackers with some hummus or cheese starts to build a healthier lunch. And then the last thing we want to do is make sure that we include a healthy fruit or vegetable or I would prefer both being a dietitian. And kids really love to have different uh, fruits and vegetables. Great thing to do, something I've done with my kids at home, is I'll have bagged cut vegetables in the fridge and I'll let my kids come up and pick out what they want to put in their lunch. So it's kind of like a fruit and vegetable smorgasbord mm -hmm. and they just throw in whatever they want to throw in. They feel vested in making that lunch, they're involved in the kitchen, and they're more likely to eat that lunch. That's a lot of fun. Now, we're talking about building a balanced meal, yeah. and that comes from each of the food groups. Now, when we were kids, uh, the food groups were a little bit different, but there's a new pyramid. Explain to uh, parents and kids what those different groups are and how they affect us, energy level, nutrition level, and just staying healthy and eating right. Really, the, the food guide pyramid has kind of gone away, and now what we have is what's my plate is what the method is called. Mm -hmm. And when you look at your plate, you want to look at the plate as half of it being from fruit and vegetables. So we really want to emphasize those plant foods. Those have the antioxidants that help prevent colds and flu, things that kids get exposed to when they go to school. A quarter of that plate is going to be from your healthy whole grain foods. And then that final quarter of the plate will be from your protein source. Proteins are important because they help keep your child full so that they're not hungry an hour after they eat. So we want to provide balance of all of those foods. On the side we'll have a dairy item important for calcium and especially vitamin D. We know that vitamin D is important again to promote immune health as well. We want all of those foods involved, getting the kids involved in putting those together. So we don't focus on a pyramid anymore, but what does our plate look like? Half of that fruits and vegetables, a quarter of that a healthy whole grain, a quarter of that a nice lean healthy protein, and then a milk or a dairy on the side is a great way to plan a healthy meal. Well, let's talk a little bit more about our plate and specifically portion sizes. Within yeah. each of these groups, how much should we be eating or how much should our uh, children be eating? Sometimes we tend to present our kids with too much food and that can be overwhelming. When you think about a preschooler or our kindergartners, their portion size really is about half that of the adult portion. So I have a pasta here. This is actually a whole grain pasta blend. And this is the adult portion, about one cup of cooked pasta. And when you see on the, the differences, the portion for a preschool kid or a kindergarten school child is a half a cup. So when you're thinking portion sizes, half that adult portion, so half a sandwich, uh, clementines are the perfect portion size when it comes to fruit. So one kiwi would be a good portion size. About a half cup of vegetables would be a portion size. So remember, don't overwhelm your child offer a variety of foods, that's really important, and make sure that you're giving them foods that they like, and sweet treats on the side, not a problem. A cookie, a pudding cup, those are all great. A little note that says, I love you, so they have a great day, pack that in the lunch too. All of those are wonderful ways to help make your kids' um, lunchtime enjoyable. Well, it's, a, it's a great idea, and the other thing I'm wondering about is, uh, potentially we're eating um, uh, two meals at school, the snack and the lunch. Mm -hmm. Talk about the difference uh, the snack plays 
uh, as compared to the lunch and, and how they should be varied and what we're really getting from that snack. Yeah. Well, when you're thinking about snacks and you're thinking about lunches, when we think about lunch, we want to represent at least three of the five major food groups. So we want the protein, the whole grain, and the vegetables. And we know that actually kids who use a dip with their veggies will eat 70% more veggies. So that's a key thing you can do too if you've got a child who won't eat veggies. With a snack, really a protein and a grain or a protein and a vegetable or fruit are great. You want to have a little bit of combination there. The role of that snack is to help transition them to the next meal. Because kids eat smaller portion sizes, it's hard for them to eat enough at any given meal to keep them full to the next time. So making sure that they have enough food in that belly, make sure that they don't fall asleep in the middle of class, and they have the energy for recess as well. I guess the last thing I'd really want to point out too is when you're packing lunches for your, your small child, make sure that they're easy to eat. They're going to be anxious to get out to recess. Of so course. The easier their food is to eat, the better off it is for them. So things like berries, if you send oranges, peel them or cut them into wedges. Mm -hmm. So make sure that the food is simple and easy for them to eat. And again, emphasize the fruits and vegetables, the whole grains, and those lean proteins in dairy. Got it. Uh, eating right, eating healthy. Yeah. To learn better, Tina Miller, Healthy Living Advisor from Meyer, thank you for being with us.